Hey, my name is Rylan McCart. I work with Trinity Fitness. Trinity Fitness is a Christ-centered, faith-focused gym where all people are welcome. Our vision is healthy people inside and out. Have you ever felt like you've been judged by somebody? I know I have. I'll never forget, we used to do this little Bible study at our house when I was in my early 20s. I lived with some other friends in a, a condo. And I remember going to work at the restaurant where I served tables and this girl came up to me and she said, hey, I heard that your friends and you at the condo, you, that you guys aren't doing well from some of the people that go to your Bible study. I'm like, what are you talking about? She said, well, I heard you guys started drinking alcohol. And I'm like, and? I'm 21. And I felt so judged by her because I didn't have a problem with alcohol. Uh, my friends and I, we like to have a beer from time to time. We weren't drunks. But it was really that, that really judgmental, Christian, hypocritical spirit that none of us like. And... You know, when you, when you open up the scriptures and you examine the life of Jesus, you find a man that is full of grace and full of truth. I love this quote that Andy Stanley says about Jesus. He says, um, and, and balancing truth and grace and having a per, being a person that's full of truth and being a person that's full of grace. Because if you have one without the other, it doesn't work out so well. He said this, Truth without grace creates pretenders and hypocrites. Truth without grace creates pretenders and hypocrites. Gosh, that just pushes people away. But listen to this. But grace without truth creates a permissive faith that ultimately hurts everybody in the end. Hmm. For me, I grew up as a person that was a little bit more on the truth side, and I've, I've had to learn that grace is something that needs to be extended to people and extended to myself. What about you? I would challenge you with this. Do you feel like you're a person that is more on the grace side or are you more on the truth side? Do you need to uh, kind of balance those out and practice one of those more? Um, a quick verse for you guys today. It's John, first, uh, John 1 14 it says, the word became flesh and dwelt among us, the word being Jesus. Uh, we have seen his glory, glory as of the son, only son from the father. And get this, full of grace and truth. Jesus was the ultimate expression of both of those things. Take care.